We do. She's had a market for over 350 years, but not quite as old as that is the Agatha Christie play, The Mousetrap, which celebrates its 50th birthday this year. Empires rise and fall, governments come and go, but there's a small corner of London's theatre land that is forever 1950s England. It all began when Winston Churchill was Prime Minister, when food was still being rationed, and when the BBC, the only TV channel, stopped broadcasting at 10.30pm. Goodbye, everybody. The Mousetrap was written by royal command. Um, when Queen Mary was going to be 80, the BBC got in touch with her and said, um, Mom, what would you like as a birthday present? Uh, opera, Shakespeare, whatever. And she said, I'd like an Agatha Christie play. So Mrs Christie, as she was then, was approached and she sat down and she penned a little half-hour play called Three Blind Mice. And that's how The Mousetrap began. It first opened in October 1952 at the Theatre Royal in Nottingham. That was its tryout. Um, and in the cast, of course, was Richard Attenborough and his wife, Sheila Sim. We thought it wouldn't work. And after the first night, we had a sort of, uh, oh, terrible session sitting in, I remember, in a sort of well with a big staircase going up in the hotel. And um, after about, Oh, three hours of depressing talk. Agatha went to bed and, and we were still talking with the producer and the director and so on. And Agatha leaned over the mat, over the stairway, I remember, and said, Darlings, I think you'd be much more sensibly employed going to bed. I can assure you, we shall have quite a nice little run. Christie granted the royalties for the play's entire run to her only grandchild, Matthew. She always told me that the mousetrap would last uh, what she described as a nice little run, which uh, was variously interpreted as four months, six months, eight months, which I suppose in those days was a nice little run. I don't think when it started that anybody had the impression that it was going to be anything like what it's turned out to be. Whilst Matthew Pritchard could be classed as the luckiest man in showbiz, the Bolting brothers, by contrast, are the unluckiest. In 1956, these producers paid £10,000 for the Mousetrap's movie rights, with the proviso that they wouldn't begin filming until six months after the West End production closed. Both died waiting. <sighs> Apart from the slump when Dickie left the cast, the Mousetrap has run and run and run, breaking every record in the thespian universe. It employed the world's most patient understudy, Nancy Seabrook. She spent 15 years waiting for someone to break a leg. David Raven achieved the most durable actor award in the Guinness Book of Records for 4,575 performances as Major Metcalf. The play's been performed in 44 countries, translated into 24 languages, and seen by tens of millions all over the world. The mousetrap is a phenomena, there is no doubt about that. And obviously people, us included, have analysed why it is a success. Most thriller writers make the crime very important. Now Agatha Christie actually doesn't. She gets over the crime quite quickly and then we spend the rest of the time solving the crime. And that's its success because people come to the mousetrap and within five minutes they're sitting there working out who the killer could be. Miss Casewell! Oh yes, Mrs Ralston, there's a very oh. wide field. Uh, there's yourself, for instance. <laughs> me? Why not? You're about the right age. Oh, but really, Whatever I Whatever you tell me about yourself now, I... And I know when I first saw it, I came with the sole purpose of guessing who the killer would be. There are only eight in the cast, and I made four wrong decisions. We saw it for the first time from the front <laughs> a few weeks ago. <laughs> and it's amazing how different. Uh, the di you, you know that the aspect is different if you're playing in it, but somehow you don't realise it till you sit there with the audience and thought, oh, oh yes, oh, and, and it, it was rather a gripping story. I mean, no one would believe that, that I could find it surprising, but it was. 
And it's very well played by the present cast, extremely well played. Is this your husband's coat? Uh, yes. Evening Standard. Yesterday's. Sold on the streets about 3.30 yesterday afternoon. I don't believe... Don't you? Don't you? Market Hampton, 204. <gasps> the mousetrap is a record breaker. It's a very English curiosity. It's a draw for tourists, and it's a puzzling example of perennial popularity. But like all unexplained phenomena, perhaps it's best just to sit back and enjoy rather than ask too many questions.